Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to freeze panes on the left and the right side. So you may be familiar with uh, freezing panes on your left side where if we wanted to kind of freeze the column view of a certain column, maybe A and B, or and or a row, maybe keep uh, this row constant as we scroll, you can do that. So I can go ahead and click here in uh, C3. So basically this is going to be my cutoff point between freezing the top rows and then the columns to the left. If I go under, if I click there and then go under view and go to freeze panes and click freeze panes, you notice if I uh, scroll to the right, columns A and B stay constant and all the other columns change. Now let me scroll back. If I scroll to the bottom, you'll notice that rows 1 and 2 stay the same, but everything else changes. You can see that their rows 1 and 2 kind of stay static. So that's the view of freeze panes. Now, it is applicable on the left side of the uh, spreadsheet grid. Now, you may wonder, can we do it to the right side? And sorry to say, there is not a way to functionally do it by a command in Excel to, to freeze on the right side and the left side but there is I guess you can say a poor man's workaround to do this so there may be instances where you want to freeze the information here on the left side but also on the right side so when you make changes in the middle you want to see the changes reflect on the right side so the way to do this or a workaround to this is to create a new window so this is what I mean when you create a new window so I can go under the view and click on new window you'll see that there's a new window that's created it says number two here the original window when I go back to the original window says a number one here so it's colon number one the new window is colon number two so what I can do after I do that is I can arrange them in a view so I go under view and I'll read them side by side and once that's done uh, what I can do let me go ahead and click uh, turn off synchronous scrolling uh, and I'll turn it back on to see how we can use this what I can do is go back to the other window uh, the one that's behind there and just place that to the end. Let's say I have a total uh, column here and I'm in this window view. So now we're here we have kind of a view where we have our frozen portions on the left side A and B columns A and B in rows 1 and 2 so I can scroll back and forth. Whoops, that's uh, let me go ahead and refreeze that pane. So I'm going to go ahead click on C3 here and freeze that pane there. So now that's frozen so I can go back and forth with columns A and B and go up and down with columns 1 and 2. But you'll notice that um, even though I can scroll to the left and right and it freezes A and B, um, it, if I go up and down, you notice that it doesn't change here on the second window. And if I wanted to do that, uh, I would need to have synchronous scrolling enabled. So if I click on synchronous scrolling, enable that, you notice now when I scroll up and down, this moves alongside with it. So I can make changes here. Let's say I'm in year uh, quarter one, 2001. I'll change that to some big number. So you can see that the change will take place here in the second window. And it looks like, in a way, we have our uh, frozen part. You know, this is really our freeze panes in columns A and B. But we have a view of the end, basically the right side of the um, spreadsheet. So if we wanted to make any changes here, we would notice that those changes are made there. So it gives us a kind of poor man's view of freeze panes on the right side. Even though we have freeze panes, it's enabled on the left side. So this gives you the ability to make changes in the middle and also see things on the right side uh, as they stay static there. And you can also move them uh, as you scroll. So that's just a poor man's way of freezing panes really on the left side and in a way on the right side. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.